Queen Wilhelmina leads the Netherlands in Civilization VI Rise and Fall. She was the longest reigning Dutch monarch and continues to be fondly remembered today. Through two world wars and 58 years of rule, she remained charming, graceful, and prudent. The Netherlands' unique ability is Grote Rivieren. Building campuses, theater squares, and industrial zones next to a river awards major adjacency bonuses. Also, completing a harbor grabs adjacent available tiles. The Netherlands' unique improvement is the polder. These improvements, placed on water tiles with sufficient adjacent coastline, provide food, production, and a bit of housing. Polders gain additional bonuses with later civics and technologies. Their unique unit is De Seven Provincian. This warship has increased ranged and combat strength and receives an additional bonus when attacking defensible districts. Queen Wilhelmina's unique ability is Radio Orenia. Trade routes to her own cities strengthen the loyalty of the starting city. Trade routes to or from foreign cities provide her with culture. Dutch ingenuity means coastal tiles are just a polder away from vast, bountiful fields. No longer are you locked to the land you've been given. Cultivate a rich trade empire and watch your kingdom flourish, but always keep your warships at hand to protect your shores. Will your trade network turn foe to friend? How will you lead the Netherlands in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Rise and Fall?